Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Handed Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Working on a John Deere Sabre 14 and a half horsepower, 38 inch deck. We are doing the transmission drive belt today. And as you guys have seen in the past, I use this chain hoist to help me out. And it's gonna make it a little bit better for the video too. All right, so I'm gonna show you some tools today. What we have down here is from right to left, we have a pick that's gonna be helpful to take a spring off. We have a half inch wrench. We have a three quarter inch ratchet, a needle nose pair of pliers, a chisel here. We're going to use that actually as a tool to uh, stop the uh, a spring from tension. We have 14 millimeter, that's a three eighths drive. 13 millimeter, I actually have that on a half inch to uh, three eighths drive um, adapter for my electric gun that we're going to use. 10 millimeter, uh, 10 millimeter socket and a five eighths socket here to take off the big pulley. All right, we also have a flashlight. I think we have the correct belt. Uh, I looked it up, hopefully, like I tell everybody to, to check your belt against your new belt before you put it on. All right, so I'm gonna use the flashlight here. I'm not sure if it's gonna hinder us or not, but the first thing we have to do under here, and as you can see, we are actually taking off this belt because it has many, many cracks. All right, so that is not good. This is not a cog belt when it's brand new and it should be replaced. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is we gotta get the tension off of this belt here. This is a hydrostatically driven transmission and the belt tension is all the time. All right, when you push the clutch in, it doesn't help you any. So I'm gonna use this chisel that we have. And I'm, what I do is I'm gonna pull the spring tension tight. Okay, this is the spring that we have to relieve some pressure on. And the way it's up in here, it's a real pain to try to take this off. So I found that if you just pull the tension like this, and then right where this arm is, you're gonna put your wedge, and you can use anything. You probably use a screwdriver. I'm just using a, a punch, a chisel, and then put it inside there, and it actually creates pressure right there. And look, we have a loose belt. So that should be all we need to take this belt off. And just remember how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna drop the belt here, take it off here. Okay, to get this belt off of everywhere, now, I thought we were gonna have an issue here. We may have an issue putting a new belt on because new belt's obviously gonna be a little bit thicker, but it did roll right off of there. We're gonna see, we may have to loosen this up, we may not. All right, so this is all loose here. This will just come out the back. There is no guides in the back of these. This is a John Deere Sabres, an old tractor. All right, so we have it loose here. So what we have to do here is this is the emergency brake rod and we don't have the emergency brake on because we have to take this rod off this spring here is why we're gonna use the pick. And we're gonna take it off right here. There's a little lip right here that this spring hooks onto. And you're just gonna pull this down and off. And you can leave it hanging there or you can take it off. We're gonna take it off. Just make sure you remember where it goes. Okay, now this is a 10 millimeter, either a socket or a wrench. We're gonna use a socket today and see if we can get it up in there. Sometimes because of this rod in the way here, it can actually hinder you. So we got it locked in there. We're gonna loosen this up. Now, the other reason why I had the vice grips, when you come around the other side, okay, this, the handle here is gonna spin. So I'm gonna use a pair of vice grips and hold it there. And I'm gonna use my left arm, hold it there. And as you guys know, I was born without, born without a hand, but it doesn't stop me from doing anything. I'm gonna angle it a little bit holding the one side up top with my arm so I can loosen this guy and then I'm loosening the nut and this will come off and then this is going to pull out of the way and I'm going to take it up out of here off to the side that's good enough for me I don't need to take it all the way out we just have to be able to get this up out of here all right at this point we might as well take off the engine pulley and that's going to be a 5 8 socket and also i'm going to use an electric ratchet i would definitely help i would definitely recommend if you guys can get an electric ratchet or an air ratchet to get this off makes it that much easier i've had some people say they use a, a pipe wrench up in here and they hold it that way if you have to use a regular ratchet um, i also didn't tell you but right here this guy here when we took the mower deck off we had to pull this down out of the way and it actually locks up in there so you do have to move this up out of the way, okay? And it is out of the way now, which is perfectly, you shouldn't have any problem getting this off. 
this should hopefully come down and it is sometimes these can get really st stuck especially these old trackers all right so that's out of the way now we have to take off one of the steering control arms because right now we have this out and it's going to get it's actually going to get hung up between okay so you have to come between a spring and that's an, an arm right there. You see that right there? You gotta come between there. And now we're down to this point here. Okay, so now we're down to, okay, well, why doesn't it come out? Well, it doesn't come out because we have to get the steering rod. You can either take it off down here, or I'm gonna actually take it off up top. And that will be a 19 millimeter or a, 19 millimeter or a 14 millimeter will fit on here. I wanna use a 14 millimeter. Okay, so we have the, half inch up top to hold it and you do have to hold this and then the 14 millimeter underneath take that off okay now this will drop this will pop up and as you can see this is how old this machine is they actually made a grease fitting on the end of their tie rod that is a beautiful thing this thing is probably original and it's never broke you'll never see that on a new machine again Unless it's like a real high end. This is a, just a regular lawn tractor. All right, so this is out of the way here. And we should be able to go down below. You gotta be careful you don't break these things. But we should be able to go down below now and take our belt off. And you may have to turn the steering wheel up top. All right, so we're gonna go in all the way just to get this belt out from underneath there. And then you have to come through here like this and then your belt will come right out like that now the new belt which is over here which i'm hoping that i actually have the right belt by the part numbers on the breakdown we should have it and you always want to unwrap your belt and make sure it's close to your other belt the other belt obviously is going to be stretched oops i think it just smacked the camera guy all right so yeah, it's definitely tighter, and we definitely have a, a stretch belt, but I'm pretty sure that's it. It's not too uh, too far. Uh, it's, it's not too small. It's uh, real close, and I know this other one might be original belt, which if it is, that went a long time. All right, so we're going to put the new one on now, and we may have a problem with, with that uh, belt tension. might be a little bit on the tight side. As far as when I put this wedge here i'm hoping that the wedge that i put in here is going to keep we're going to have enough uh, i might have to push this down a little bit more but the first thing you want to do is go up through your steering linkage right there and get it on up top you're going to put that up top here all right i got that in and i'm just going to put this around the engine pulley place right here for now you gotta make sure you get all this dirt off of here and you can put a little bit of grease on there when you put the pulley back on. And then you're gonna put your other belt down through here. Pull it down. Like so. One part goes straight. This guy goes down here. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is get this guy on the back pulley here, and then we have to get this figured out. All right, so this is gonna come down here like this, and you're gonna come up here like this. And this is where I thought it might get a little bit, this down here, remember, see, remember I told you that the new belt may be a little bit tricky getting it in there, and we may have to take this pulley down because we we're gonna have to, this, this pulley or this belt is new and it's a little, a little fatter than I was hoping for. All right, so this has to come down a little bit and I'm pretty sure that is a 13 millimeter right there. So that's a 13 millimeter. We're gonna use a ratchet on there. We're gonna take that down. And we don't need to take it off. We just need to take it down. And I'm pushing pressure on this pulley. So this is a carriage bolt up here. So I'm pushing pressure down on this pulley so I can loosen this and keep that, 
keep the carriage bolt in its spot. So all we needed was a little bit of space right there. And we're gonna put this back up. All right, and at this point, I'm gonna tighten it so I don't forget to not tighten it later. Okay, so that's tight. And always check your pulleys, make sure they're good. Make sure, I mean, while you're in here, if you need the pulleys, you might as well get them done. All right, so here's what I was a little concerned about the belt being a little tight, but obviously it worked out well. So you just have to make sure that you're around every pulley. Make sure all that's good. Make sure that's tight. You're tight here. Everything looks good straight up to this engine. Okay, so we have the engine pulley. And actually, I'm gonna actually take this off down here because I just thought about something. Um, I'm gonna take the tension off of that belt so I can put the engine pulley on to make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna relax that right there. Then we're gonna put the engine pulley on. And these engine pulleys, like a lot of them, inside there is a keyway. This one actually has some dirt on it here. Make sure we get all that dirt out of there. Okay, so you have to make sure that the engine pulley with the little keyway that's in it, make sure it goes up into the keyway there. And this, you can tell right here that this is a punch out where they have, the, by the factory, they punched that in and made the, the keyway on the inside. So you have to line it up with that. And it does get a little tricky in here, but make sure you got it lined up and it will actually slide up once you get it lined up. And I wanted to put the belt on the engine pulley first. Slide that up, put your bolt in, which is here. And you can put a little never seize on that shaft so it's easier to come off next time. You may have difficulties getting these on and off, especially the ones that are this old. This pulley was already lubed uh, and it came off very easily. All right, so down here, we may come across this a little bit tight, but you can roll it on. And as you can see, being that this is a new belt, it just made it this real loose. Actually, I have to push it. I'm gonna have to pull it out to make that tension come off of this right there. Bring this out and there you go. Now this is where you really have to make sure that everything is on correctly. Make sure you're on your pulleys all the way around. Make sure this is tight. Make sure you're back here all the way done. Go all the way up. Make sure you're not rubbing against anything right here. Okay, now we're not done yet. This has to be tightened. The bolt to the engine has to be tightened. All right, so we're gonna tighten that up. That is a 5 8 socket. It tightens that up. Okay, and then we have to also tighten up the tire. The uh, tie rod's gotta go back on. This is that guy here. And it just swings up around to the front. I'm gonna put that in here. I have to find the nut, which I... Okay, here's the nut. And you try to put the steering somewhere where you can get to both sides. I'm gonna turn around to the front here. Put your nut on. Like I said, 19, 9 sixteenths or 14 millimeter and a half inch on top. Half inch on top. I'm gonna use 14 millimeter. that's tight okay so now we have to go down and put on the rod for the emergency brake and just so you know the way it's sitting right here it's definitely a little confusing because I go by wear marks and this wear mark here is a little bit off and I also noticed that we had a hard time getting the nut off so when I flip it around it looks more like it's supposed to and you can see the wear marks here is definitely the nut so you can see the 10 millimeter nut wear mark here so be careful when this thing, now I have it up in the air, the machine up in the air, so this thing is just dangling when we took it off. Uh, you also have to know that this could also slide out. There's two holes over here, right? And there's a hole here and a hole here. It's gotta be in the hole that is actually more forward on the tractor, so it's up towards the, you know, I always remember it's to, to the front of the tractor is the hole that you're gonna have it in. And then you also have to flip this up and then put the rod, the brake rod, into that position right there. Because I remember it being very close to this bar when I was trying to get the wrench in there, that's the ratchet and the socket in there. And then you just have to make sure that the, I have the vice grips on up top. So it's giving me a little bit of weight up there, which is not enough because now I have to go up top and hold it down here so I can get this on. And once you get it started, then you should be able to spin it up, get your 10 millimeter on there, 
and tighten it. And then we also have, remember we had the spring on here. The spring goes in the other hole. And I do remember that when I took it off, the spring went this way like that. So we're gonna put this in here. Cause that's where it was. And then I think I can do this by hand. It's not really that difficult. That. Now, everything is very, very close as far as how this belt is, but nothing rubs anything. It's just really close. And when I get down on the ground and run it, it'll probably even straighten itself out. But just make sure that you're not rubbing against everything. Make sure you have everything in line. And pretty much that is it. Make sure you check your pulleys, which we already did. This pulley was good. This pulley is actually new. Um, this pulley is good. And the reason why uh, this pulley was new is this, this pulley was bad. We did this pre the video just because of the fact that we had to do a couple things to get this, uh, this guy off and on. But just make sure you check your pulleys to make sure they're okay before you put the belt on. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, please feel free to leave a comment. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Appreciate everybody watching my videos. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.